Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Mm, that came out kind of weird. Ace of Cups. So we have Judgment, Scorpio Energy, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Ooh. So this is like a warning message already, I feel like. You have somebody coming towards you that's going to want to... I don't know. They could be kind of coming towards you, pouring their heart out to you. Um, or there is someone that is like maybe starting to awaken to the feelings and emotions that they have for you. Or there's someone coming in with some type of proposal. They're wanting to have a new start with you. They're wanting another chance. They maybe have had some type of wake up call. Um, if not, they just want another chance. Okay. Um, for some of you, they've gotten some type of karma as well. But I see you receiving communication very soon. Like quick, this is quick communication or it's going to come in very quickly. Like it's going to be a phone call or a message. Um, but it's like something is coming in very quickly. But just know what the page of swords in reverse. This person has not learned their lesson. So they may be wanting another chance or they may be wanting to re resurrect things with you. But they haven't learned their lesson. They could be in the, in the, they could be going through some karma or like a period of time where they're really having to atone for the shit that they've done. Um, or they're having to like kind of take accountability for some things, make some things right, or they just have some karma that they have to reap. I don't know, but I just see them coming towards you. They are still immature. They are going to be all talk, no action. Um, still not really sure what they even want. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. That's why the Ace of Cups came out weird. It's going to be like a sideways offer. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. So some of you guys are try or have like are trying to heal from somebody. Trying to open up to the possibility of new love, recover. And I feel like you guys are successfully doing that. Like, you maybe have learned your lesson. There's somebody here that hasn't learned their lesson, I feel like. Talk about the judgment card. Yeah, the page of wands reverse. Yeah. It's like, you guys have finally learned the lesson. Just know that there is somebody that you're connected to or in your energy that they still haven't learned the lesson. Like, you you finally learned the lesson, but they haven't. And they're going to try to come back and maybe repeat something with you or resurrect something with you. But they're still very immature. They still are very lazy and just have these self-limiting beliefs, insecurities. Like, they're not ready. They're not going to follow through. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. For some of you, that's, you know, the Eight of Wands can sometimes be sexual energy as well. They can maybe be, oh, yeah, I see Five of Swords. So this person's maybe coming in to fight with you. Or this communication that's coming in is maybe going to cause some type of conflict or um, this per some type of intimidation or something here, stress. Somebody's like coming in with like an agenda. No, I don't even say like an agenda, but they're coming in like with like an intent to like try to intimidate you or bully you into in something. Maybe even I just heard force you into something or like maybe they're worried that there's competition for you. But I just see that there's communication coming in and it could be somebody like they could be confronting you about something or trying to start a fight with you. Very immature. Tell me about the page of swords in reverse. Justice. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they have, they're about to get karma. There's about to be karma here. Tell me about the justice card. What is justice? So we have Libra. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sag here. The night, I'm telling you, somebody's, they can maybe be trying to rush in to want to make things right with you, but they're not, they don't mean it. This is not a sincere apology. Or it's like they're not going to follow through with what they said. Yeah, temperance in reverse. Mm. They could be trying to keep you from moving away from them. They're trying to like kind of keep you from healing. Like not even 444 on the camera as I'm saying that. Like they're trying to keep you from healing and moving on. It's like that, it's like that that classic case of somebody that you're energetically, you're, you're growing and you're evolving. They're not maybe growing and evolving as fast as you or not at all. And it's like they can maybe feel you healing and moving on and getting stronger and pulling your energy back, right? And now they want to rush in to keep you from moving on from them and keep you from completely healing from them. Like they're coming in with some with chaotic energy to disrupt your healing. Like this person's coming in to disrupt your healing, disrupt you from moving on, maybe possibly getting into a new relationship. Mm-hmm. Yep. But there's this person still is not they don't have anything to offer you and they're still guarded they're They don't want to compromise. They need to heal. And I feel like this person really hasn't been doing the work that they need to to heal. They may be working on their finances, but as far as like them healing and like as a person like to like be in a relationship, I don't see that. All right. Um, 
So where does my collective stand when it comes to this situation? Death in reverse. Okay. The four of wands. The king of wands in reverse. Um, What is the four of wands? So what are, what are they going to, how are they handling this? Yeah, there's a change here. Yes, there's a change here. So I feel like you guys were repeating a cycle with this person at some point. This person had control over you. Um, they had the power. You're taking your power back. There's not going to be like a power shift here or the, the, the shit, the power, like the, the power. Yeah. I don't know how else to put it, but yeah, four of wands. Like, I feel like. They keep telling you that they want like marriage with you. They want to settle down with you, but they're, it's like, they're not even ready for anything like that. And I think you guys know this. <sighs> um, I feel like with the wheel of fortune here, it's like something is, there's a turning point here. And I feel like there's a new beginning coming in. I feel like you're maybe making the decision to go down a new path. What's that mean for my collective spirit? Mm. Let's see for this person. Yeah, I just feel like this person, they're just not stable. I feel like this person knows that they have an inability to commit to you. You're kind of in this free spirited energy, courageous, adventurous. I don't feel like you're really trying to collaborate with this person at this time. I really feel like you're trying to free yourself from this cycle, at least free yourself from this cycle that you've been going through with this person. But yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, they could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. They're just unstable all around. And I feel like you guys know this. All right. Is there anything else that they need to know, Spirit? What is this person about to do? Give me more clarity on what this person is about to do. What is this person about to do? So we have, the, I'm telling you, we have eight of wands, eight of wands, sudden change, rush of love. Yeah, I do feel like they are like maybe like realizing how they feel about you. Like all their feelings are coming up to the surface or like kind of hitting them at once. But it's like they're about to reach out to you. You're about to hear from somebody. Tell me more quickly. This is coming in soon. Strength. Maybe this person is trying to work on overcoming some type of obstacle. Oh, see the Eight of Cups. This person is trying to quickly get something together, work up the courage and the strength to walk away from something that has been an obstacle. Yeah. What does this have to do with their connection with my collective? What's have to do with their connection with my collective? The High Priestess. Pisces energy. Ripped. I'm telling you, this person, what they couldn't see, some of you guys... This is you. You guys finally have the strength to walk away from this person. Clarify what the Eight of Wands means for their actions. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is them coming in with some type of offer. But they are not, they're unhealed. This offer, Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, could be a water sign. Yeah, they still have like a lot of burdens and responsibilities. They like have a lot on their shoulders. But I feel like this person just feels like they can't stay away from you. But it's like... It says vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth. Like they have feelings and emotions for you, but I feel like what's going to, what's going to happen is that like, they're coming towards you. They're rushing towards you. They're maybe going to be coming towards you acting like they don't feel this passionate about you. They do. They feel very passionate about you. And I feel like you guys may have finally have the, have the strength and the courage to walk away from this person. And I feel like it's going to kind of like, yeah, the Six of Cups. What's that have to do with anything? The Ten of Pentacles. Memories, reunion. What's this have to do with my collective? Undecided. Yeah, somebody's returning, but they don't even know what they want. Like, so I feel like, how are they, how is my collective going to handle this? You're going to kind of be like, eh. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to, you're going to be kind of, you're going to think it through, or you're going to kind of like, before you even respond to this person, you're going to be like weighing your options. You're going to be like, Eh, like iffy with this person, but with the fourth cups, I feel like whatever you're going to refuse this person's offer. You're going to reject them. You're going to ignore them. Yeah. Some of them are getting ignored. Yeah. And I feel like all of a sudden, boom, 
this person is this ripped apart energy where they're like they're going to feel very vulnerable in love and it's like it says the love exposed the truth like yeah but their intuition well they already knew how they felt they were just maybe how about the high priestess and ripped apart nine of pentacles they wanted their freedom and their independence ace of pentacles what's that do with this person the hanged man see this person they're getting clarity because you said sometimes you cut them off or you said oh they're getting clarity that we have the queen and king of swords here gemini libra aquarius energy mm. what about the queen queen and king of swords the queen of cups what about the queen of cups the emperor It's almost like this person is realizing that you have gotten in, they're used to coming towards you very like this person's used to an emotional reaction from you or something like that. They're used to getting the queen of cups. Now you're in this queen of swords energy. You're kind of matching this person's energy now. They're not used to this. Yeah, it's like now it's like they're getting a taste of their own medicine type of thing. That's probably what I'm going to name this reading. They're coming towards you expecting to get this very emotional version of you. You guys may still feel this way about this person, but I don't feel like you're showing it to them. Yeah, they're coming towards you thinking that they're going to get this nurturing, caring, like loving version of you. Like an emotional response, but they're going to get the queen of swords that's like really firm in their boundaries and independent and doesn't need this person. And is not going to just fall for their shit easily. It's like they, they're coming towards you emotionally, acting emotionally detached. I don't feel like that's really how they feel. Yeah. Re yeah, they're getting rejected. Male ego. They're just very egotistical. Why is forbidden here for this person? The two of wands. The hermit. They're doing some soul searching about you or what is the hermit in the, yeah, they haven't made up their mind about you. Why do they feel you like you're the forbidden fruit? They, they feel like they could see, they see commitment with you. That's a mutual feeling, but what's the T? What's the, what's the T? This person doesn't know if you've had a new beginning with some, maybe this person's coming towards you and the fact that, wow, I was about to say you've gone cold on them, cold as ice. It, yeah. Now the way that the fact that the fact that you're not giving them an emotional response or maybe not even responding them to them at all is making them feel like maybe you've had a new beginning with somebody else, right? And then all of a sudden their feelings and emotions hit them because like they're like, oh shit, I may have lost. Maybe you know the collective's having a new beginning. Maybe I've lost them to somebody else. Hmm, interesting. <sighs> um We have ancestral karma. They're clearing ancestral karma. They're no, they're clearing ancestral negative patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Maybe they grew up with parents that were unemotional. Like it's something like that. Maybe they were grew up with like a family that wasn't very like emotional and expressive with their emotions. Like, yeah, maybe that's what they're used to. Yeah, healing. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in this connection. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Battle of the wits. This is the energy that you and this person are in now. It's like they've always been guarded and now you're guarded too because <laughs> or you feel like you have to protect yourself from this person until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable. This love will continue to be a battle. So it's like, yeah, that's that king and queen of swords. It's like you guys are a true match though. Grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. It's like they're not liking this version of you. Yeah, marriage. They see you as marriage material. Yeah, they see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. They're not there yet. We have divine intervention. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. I feel like you, them approaching you and getting you in this energy is one of those tower moments. It's definitely making them realize some things. 
family tree. So, yeah, this is something about someone's family. Like, there was something about, they feel like you, you, they're viewing you as the forbidden fruit because you're a lot different from what they're used to, or even how, like, the people they were raised around, their family. It says there's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Yeah, broken. Yeah, they feel broken inside. Don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. And we have hopeful. They're opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. So it's almost like you're going cold on them now to protect yourself. And now they want to open up with open up to you. But honestly, I feel like maybe if this person were to come towards you more vulnerable and expressive with their emotions, maybe then you would maybe trust them enough to open up to them in that way. It's just because of the way that they keep approaching you. But yeah, we have power couple. They see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. As a couple, so it's like you guys are both like headstrong. You're very both stubborn. Like you're both like dominant personality, something like that. They, they feel like if you guys could work it, make it work, you guys could be like a force together. Message, yeah, you're definitely. Of course, it's a twin flame. <laughs> of course, it's twin flame. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. And then it says, you don't have to do anything or twin flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. You're, you're showing up in this person's dreams as well, or they're dreaming about being with you or having a life with you. Um, let's see. What else do they need to know, spirit? I am going to extend this reading. Um, let's see. Use this deck, or eh, let's do this one. Yeah, perfect match. Great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. Tell me more about what this means going forward. Wishes granted. If this person isn't on your level, I see them doing it. But wishes coming true, magical energy surround you, your thoughts are manifesting. How are they getting to that point? Or what, is, what does that mean for this connection that's coming through? We have the moon. Yeah, the, the big, big part of the problem with this person or maybe on both ends, it says fears and insecurities. There's information yet to be revealed. Things are not as they seem. In what way? Clarify the moon. Nature says, yeah, carelessness. This I feel like this person is realizing that they messed up. Like, they don't see it yet, maybe. But they're about to see it. <laughs> like I feel like this person, they, they keep having, or like Spirit is saying this person is acting like they don't care. But that's not a not the case at all. Maybe this person feels like they need to take a break. Somebody needs to ground themselves, but it's like this person has just been like inattentive, negligent. They've been acting like they don't care, but they've been careless with you. But tell me more about carelessness. But spirit says things are not what they seem. That's just how this person's used to being or acting. They can't act that way with you, though. But it says honor the cycle you are in. It's like they're kind of bringing their old self or like the person that they had to be in like other like past situations into your connection. That version of themselves does not apply to this situation with you. And that's why this is a problem. Like the way that they were raised, their childhood wounds, their wounds from their past relationships. Yeah, it says what goes around comes around. So yeah, I feel like, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It's something about history, gifts from the, what about ancient history? The de This person is used to codependent relationships. They're used to, yeah, addictions, poor habits, obsessions. They even maybe come from that. Like they come from like their parents were maybe like had a, something, some issues, codependency issues, addictions, poor habits. And then like, yeah, we have manipulation on the back of the deck, scheming and controlling bad influences. Be careful this person trying to come towards you with some manipulation. But I feel like you guys are going to be much more careful about who you let in this time. But I do see like you guys are just not going to be on the same page this time. I feel like there may even be an argument between you and this person or a disagreement or they're going to at least try to argue with you because they're going to try to come towards you with these like this this plan, this scheme, trying to maintain some type of control over you because maybe they're feeling jealous. They're feeling protective over you. They don't want to lose you. But it's just like you guys are trying to make, make better choices for yourself. So, yeah, it's like this person comes from like a long line of toxicity, unfortunately. So what's that mean for their connection with my collective? 
yeah, roll the dice. So they, yeah, they they view you as risky, even though you may feel like you're like, what's wrong with me? Like I'm healthier than what they're used to. They're it's just out of their comfort zone, guys. But it looks like someone's gonna take a risk here. Yeah, forever yours, because it says it's an unbreakable bond, a strong and stable relationship, a love that lasts a lifetime. And then we have the Empress on the back of the deck. So yeah, it says fertility, nurture. Yeah, that's who they see you as. It's a very nurturing person. Reclaim, you're taking back your power. And it's like something about you stepping into this Empress energy that is like, it's, it says alchemy, reviving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. That's what you're doing. Yeah. This person that was possessive and selfish, Queen, King of Wands and reverse energy could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person's about to go through an ego death or something. This was coming out in the, the twin flame reading that I just did before this. this. That may apply to your situation as well. But this person's about to go into the dark night of the soul because you know your worth now. Mm -hmm. They feel like you, they view you as highly desirable and they are knowing that they cannot stay selfish like this. They can't be greedy and also want you. They're not going to be able to have you and also be this way. So I see them going through a spiritual death, an ego death, rebirth process, self-discovery, dark night of the soul. And that's what's unlocking this door. It says key to closed doors, unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed before is now open. Give me one more card about the Empress and then I'm done. Battle wounds. Yeah, Spirit says, you know, you've been through a lot, but it's like you're healing. Yeah, mystical shaman. You're awakening your vision to magic. I feel like you guys are born healers and you are also healing. Um, and I feel like you you guys have like been through a lot and you guys have accumulated quite a few wounds trying to fix others and heal others and save others. But like, I feel like you guys may be getting maybe getting into this energy where you're starting to like you're 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 gonna be starting to focus on you and heal yourself. Um yeah, and it's like attracting your tribe. It's attracting your soul family. Um, yeah, right here waiting. I feel like like you are a part of this soul person's soul family. They just needed to realize that you were. You know what I mean? I feel like they just couldn't see it. They're maybe going to have to leave one family dynamic to step into like this more fulfilling soul family dynamic. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yearning and longing, waiting period. And then it says unfoldment, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with higher self. So it looks like you know, they are going to do that. This person kind of felt like you, yeah, this person, you're dealing with a person that has had a hard time settling down or they, they, they have been a player in the past or they like, they're, they've been a heartbreaker in the past. Like, I feel like this person has like felt like for, with you, they knew that they were going to have to step up. Like they felt they kind of view as a little bit high maintenance or like you require a lot more than what maybe somebody else would require or these other people. Yeah, it's like, hmm. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Is there anything else? So they feel like they knew that there's, they feel like you require a lot. Bless, but it, yeah, blessed union though, meant to be together though. Love that transforms divine mission together. It's calling for this person to level up, to rise up. Yeah, but I feel like this person, why are they in this, the T? Proper offering. What is that talking about you? Talk, what are this trick or treat playing games? Bottled up. Friendship. Mm. Talking about you having a reputation, gossip. So there's some type of gossip around this connection or they're gossiping about you or something like that. Playing games, not serious, unsure of their intentions. What does the T mean for this person? What are they talking about? Refreshing new energy. Interesting and stimulating. Pleasantly different from their usual type. Yeah, it's like you're different. But what does that have to do with what's the T have to do with my collective? Divine hand, divine assistance, Midas touch, attracting helpful people. So you're attracting, I feel like you may be attracting somebody new for some of you. I don't know, but I just feel like this person is not, they want to come towards you with a proper offering, but yeah, they'll return. Spirit says they will return with a proper offer. How is it getting to that point? They're sad over you. Yeah, they're regretful. It's like, it's something about you guys. They feel like they're going to have, what, what they would need to do to be with you is a lot. Like, they feel like, I don't know why they view you like that. 
I feel you guys are getting in this energy where you're ready to give up. You're ready to move on. You're manifesting new. You're fed up with this person. You don't care anymore. They feel like it's going to require a lot or something very difficult, like a sacrifice to be with you. It says they must give up something to win and align their priorities. And they feel it to them. That's like a lot. I don't know why, but. But it's like, it's just like, it's like once you started stepping into your, hmm, this person's kind of mad. This person's kind of mad that you're stepping into your power because they know that they have no choice, like, if they want you. Mm-hmm. The study room. A loyal companion. It's like, almost like this person is having to learn how to love. Like, they're having to learn how to treat you the right way. Like, I don't know. It's so weird, guys. So this is where I feel, see them coming towards you, but they're coming toward them with a proper offer. And what's that? Creativity. They're coming. Yeah, they, they, they feel a very strong urge to express themselves to you, but they maybe have a long way to go. How about that? Like, I feel like maybe... Or maybe this person is expects too much from other people. Like, what are talking about a long list? Epiphany. Realizing what? What are they having an epiphany about? That they want to, they feel like it's going to require a lot to be with you or a lot of work on their part, but they feel like they still want to revive this. Yeah, and let go of the past. Just know that this person is about to come towards you. And Spirit says there's a need for you to read between the lines, okay? They may be saying that they want you, they choose you, but they need to let go. They're still, they're still maybe clinging to something unhealthy, or they still have a lot of baggage. I think I already mentioned that. Like, they still have a lot going on. They're still in this procrastination-type energy. It's like there's something that this person is trying to avoid having to do. For some of you, they have options, and they've been, like, not sure if they want to clear out their roster to be with you. I don't know, but they feel like whatever it is, that they need to do to be with you they felt have felt like it's a daunt it's daunting i don't know why but i am going to